Hey guys, Dave here with Iographer. We are at the Luma Fusion booth at NAB. We're talking with Terry. She's going to give us an awesome demo of some new features in this editor. It's, a, it's just such a rock star, right? Yes, it is. We're very happy with this next coming up release. It's just amazing. So. And when do you think it's going to be coming out? We think May. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's dive into her demo and we'll be back. on here that we have a whole new interface for, for Luma, Luma Fusion. Mm -hmm. um, we've done, redone the whole UI to make it easier um, to edit with, without having to open to a box. Oh, is this so a new, on. when was when this launched? This is launched in a couple months, so oh, it's okay. version 2.0. So, so, got it. Um, if, if you notice, if I tap yeah, a clip, then is, the tools become yeah, active okay. instead of having to open and close things. Got it. We've also added this Mm. Uh, nice shuttle jog that is a, we call her a timeline navigator because you can get anywhere in your timeline really quickly. That's great. One of the cool features about mm -hmm. 2.0 is now you have not just three tracks of video and three tracks of audio, but you have six tracks of, uh, of video mm. up to 4K uh, on each track, <laughs> all playing real time on your iPad Pro, um, even on the new iPad Air, mm -hmm. and. As you see here, I've got some funny audio going on, but um, lots of tracks playing real time, no stuttering. Mm -hmm. um, it is. It's amazing because I'll try and do that on my MacBook Pro and it won't work. Yeah. <laughs> but it, this, it works great. It's pretty cool, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're really, really super excited about this release because we've we've done a lot of things that we've been wanting to do for mm -hmm. a long time. One is add the extra tracks. Another is have a better looking source yeah. source viewer so yes. now it doesn't shrink down um, and get make room for the jog shuttle mm -hmm. because we've we've put the jog shuttle in into uh, just some touch controls down here oh, so wow. you can go That's frame great. by frame it, it it's it's a hidden control That's but fantastic. you can really go faster if you go farther mm -hmm. another thing that um, We've done is put the you know the slip trimmer here. Mm -hmm. um, we've added markers so oh, I can wow. add. Um, this is N A B and add a color to this. Mm -hmm. um, you can mark something completed over here. And if you have a multi-line comment, it, it'll you can you can have it small or big. Um, so that's Great. markers. What one of the reasons we added markers, not only because people were asking for them, but also because we are um, now supporting an integration mm -hmm. with Frame.io. Great. Which means, we uh, on my Frame.io media, mm -hmm. I can see the comments as they're being typed somewhere else. Um, I get those comments on my sources. I can reply back right from LumaFusion, and all without downloading the Frame.io media. Mm -hmm. So it's just done like we do story blocks. You can preview mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm get the comments, comment back, and then when you drag it to the timeline, it'll download. Mm -hmm. um, you can also put uh, Frame.io comments. Mm -hmm. If I'm logged in, you'll see another button here for Frame.io. Put those comments on here, upload that to Frame.io, and get feedback from people, mm -hmm. and then see that feedback come back to your timeline. So, um, hugely powerful uh, new features there. Uh, Let's see, what else do we have? I'm thinking, oh, right. Well, we have the external monitor support mm -hmm. coming. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so great. there'll be a button right here. You can see that at the booth right now. Um, and is it wireless or Bluetooth or anything? Or can it, you do it, anything it, like you that? You can do HDMI and you can do AirPlay. AirPlay, I meant, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, uh, you know, it, if, if you were going to use it for color correction yeah. or something, then you'd want to use HDMI. HDMI yeah. But yeah. Smoother playback. And that, that's Coloring, really yeah. great. And when you have an external monitor set up, you can choose more uh, layouts. So oh. you can have the whole t uh, the whole screen be timeline, which is amazing for this, right? Unbelievable. Um, let's see. I have a list of features here uh, that I was going to want to make sure I got. Um, let's see if I can get those out. And you have the chroma key. You have a um, effect. More video. Can I play with... Um, Final Cut Pro, can I play with Premiere, any of those? Does oh, that yeah, export yeah, yeah. into any of that? That's what it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, I guess. So, <laughs> not to Premiere uh, okay. at first, but we'll do Final Cut. You think you're going to get to Premiere eventually, or no? Well, Premiere imports an XML from yeah. Final Cut. Um, oh, so yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, yeah. 
you know, in these integrations, what's important is that the way certain things come across, the way, like, say you did, uh, maybe you um, go in here mm -hmm. and make this, uh, you know, make a shot bigger mm -hmm. or whatever. Oh, I'm in the, not in the uh, editor here. But so you make this bigger, mm -hmm. and at this position, mm -hmm. Final Cut m Understands. might put that in XML okay. differently okay. Than, than Premiere would. Yeah, so Got we it. have to do the translation ourselves. Got so, it. Wow, that's um, daunting. <laughs> yeah, um, it, but that's that's the basic 2.0. Two mm -hmm. um, and then you have integration with... Um, uh, Narbox. Narbox, and then there's wireless, uh, the the Western Digital. Western Digital. So that's um, nice. We have a we have a Storyblocks integration, okay. um, which means you can subscribe to the Storyblocks library mm -hmm. inside of LumaFusion and ha and um, be able to look at the whole library, and drag things to your timeline. So you're editing along. You're like, God, I need a piece of footage of a of a really beautiful uh, little scene there. Yeah, this is all Storyblocks right. media. And so. then boom, you bring it into your thing. Also, music, sound mm -hmm. effects, backgrounds. Um, so. Yeah, it's it's a super powerful release. This 2.0 that's coming in, it'll be out in a couple months, so okay. May. Okay. Yeah. And um, so, if someone buys it today, they have the free upgrade, of course, right? Or is there a paid it's upgrade? If, if, if they buy it today, it's it's twenty twenty dollars, mm -hmm. right? If if you wait till after 2.0, it's going to be twenty nine. Oh, okay. So buy it today. Yeah. I mean, if you want to save nine bucks, <laughs> that's right. Frankly, Everybody does. You know, yeah. No. I mean, it's a one time. Uh, charge, Which, as you know, it's not a subscription. No, and so, that's what's amazing. Yeah. That's that's what's kind of blowing the doors off some of your competitors. Oh yeah, is the subscription thing. People are just blown away that you know it's a one time. I mean, I, I frankly, we're blowing the doors off them on features as yeah. well. I mean, yeah. no, oh, one, no one can do this. Nobody can. Even yeah. there's some companies that say they have unlimited tracks. Really check it out yeah. because um, no one is doing this. Yeah. No. So. No. Yeah. And right now it's three tracks, right? On, on each. Right now yeah. it's three tracks. May you'll be Which getting six tracks. Which is plenty, so. you know. Now I, I forgot. Can I bring in um, a PNG? And is there layer stuff I can do? Um, you can bring in a, a PNG. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not sure if I have. Let's see. Um, so is there like opacity a, things I can do? You know, like like uh, what do you call? It? Like in Photoshop, that type of stuff. Yeah. Or so I can put a PNG mm -hmm. on top yep. of something. Oh, actually, this is a title, but a PNG would work mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. Um, in here, I can, I can uh, do things like this. I can add blending. So, yeah, there you go. That's what I meant. Uh, blend modes and yeah. stuff like that. We will be adding like real day. blend okay. modes. Okay. Wow. Great. Soon. Screen um, and all those kind of we're things. We're just working on Overlay that now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. And but right now, if you wanted to go even into um, some of these crazy editors, you can all do this all oh, yeah. keyframing uh, onto oh, a PNG great. or yeah. onto a title. Yeah, so. that's fantastic. And and I think you already know that it's all keyframeable. Yeah, so everything's keyframeable. That's what's mm -hmm. so cool. So as you move through that, Gee you're gonna get whiz. Right? wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm hooked. I mean, everyone uh, that we've been talking to has been telling us how great it is and. And I've been playing. I mean, I've been a um, Premiere Pro and a, and, a, and a Final Cut Pro guy my whole life. But yeah. I'm carrying my device now that's got a terabyte of room. I've got the hard drive. Yeah. I shoot everything on you know my iPhone stuff. So why do I need to leave you know the, the iOS atmosphere? So yeah, my what I tell people is this allows you to edit early. Mm -hmm. So you're going to find mistakes. You can edit even on the shoot mm -hmm. and find mistakes, not have to go back for another reshoot or fix it in post. It allows you to edit more often, and when you edit more often, you become a better editor. Right. It's like anything what, that you do often. What um, kind of audio fix features, like, um, if it really needs to do audio fixes, would that be something where you'd go into Final Cut and do the later, and that I mean, whole world, or what can you do If in you here? wanted to export to Final Cut and do that, you could. You can do uh, certain things, like uh, we have uh, band pass filters. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, okay. Um, so you got lots of things. In yeah. Here. I mean, what what I would like to do in the future is get uh, a more interactive mm -hmm. UI for those things. But you can, if you you know, if you're familiar with the parametric yeah. EQ, you can go in here and, and do stuff. And, yeah. And okay. Do stuff. Great. Can you save them as presets um, and things like that? You, yes, you can. Okay. So in in any of our editors, you can um, go to this button. Okay. Name, and your, name preset your preset and oh, save it, great. and then then it shows up over here. And does it have auto ducking feature at all? For it anything? does. It does. Yes. Oh, great! Jeez. Um, in the throwing away my computers now. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> in the audio editor in uh, configuration, okay, you so can set you a clip to master, auto, master or auto, auto and then in the settings, uh, which we're going to move into here, 
but you can set the the cutoffs and all that for them. So, That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm just so ecstatic with this particular release. I mean, I've always loved Luma Fusion, mm -hmm. but this is really I'm like in love with it. Yeah, in love. In with love. It. Yeah, <laughs> I am. That's great. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Okay. We have now headers. So yeah. So if okay. you're in here. You want to turn off a track, see yep. what it looks like. You can lock a track or turn off a track. Oh, that's and, great, um, yeah. Like I'm turning off a couple tracks yeah. here. And see what it would look and like. And then I've seen the microphone here, so I can bring in, that's like for a, a, a voiceover or something? Yeah, or? you can do uh, voiceovers and that, the actual one is right here mm -hmm. inside. And you access your right, microphone right. Sure, sure, sure. and then um, You're ready just to start go. recording. Yeah. yeah. And now will that on go on a specific timeline or it, it'll, it'll it be on the free the, one? first open okay, track. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And so we can, we can actually do one right now. We are It'll at NAB, very ex oh. Boom. We're at NAB with Terry and we're super excited to see uh, Luma Fusion. And then you say okay. At this point you can either preview it by pressing mm -hmm, play mm -hmm. or accept it. And, and it's in the timeline? Our, yeah. That's great. And I have, I'd have to mix that a oh, little bit okay. with <laughs> the mixer. All oh, right, right. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's the demo. What do you guys think? So how much is this? Uh, it's currently twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine, in the App Store, and um, in May it will be going up to twenty nine. So if you want to save nine dollars, get this today. <laughs> save nine dollars. You could buy other apps like Filmic Pro. Well, that's a little more money, but anyway, get Luma Fusion. It's awesome. We're gonna do a whole demo on it, and we're excited. So thanks so much, Thank Terry. Thank you so much. Appreciate we appreciate it. it.